Hello and welcome to another J. Robinson Art Peel-Off Painting Project. Today we're going to be painting something for the holiday season I like to call a light of joy. Uh, but before we get started, why don't we just take a look at all the equipment that we have and the equipment that we'll be using to paint this picture today. Off camera, I have my cup of water. We provide you with paint packets or paint pods. We have our paper towel. We have our spatula, a plastic apron, which I already have on. We provide you with two brushes, and I think that if you have your own brushes, please feel free to use those. We just like to make sure that our kits come with everything that you need to paint the project. We also provide you with a palette sheet, at least a half palette sheet, and on the glossy side is where you want to put the paints. This is the project that we're going to be painting today. Light of Joy. Now this is an 8x10 canvas, and let me show you what we have for you here. We have an 8x10 canvas with the peel already affixed. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the paints and I'm going to lay them out so that you can see what we'll be using today. Now again, we like to provide you with more paints than you'll need. And these videos, we use our paint packets and our kits that we sell, we have paint pods. And you can see those will be a little bit different, but they'll still carry enough paint, more than enough paint for you to do any project that we do. I'm going to start with placing out a little bit of white. Just a little bit of white. I'm not going to squeeze out everything because I may need some for later or I just want to save some for later. So I'm just going to put that out for right now. As a matter of fact, let me just put a little bit more since I'm going to be using this predominantly for my background color. And again, if I need more, I already have some off to the side. I'm going to be using black. So let's squeeze out a little tiny bit of black. Very strong color. There you go. Next color we're going to squeeze out will be some green. Squeeze out a little bit of green here. The next color I'd like to squeeze out is a little bit of yellow. Don't need much yellow for this particular painting, but here's some yellow. And the last color we're gonna squeeze out, of course, is our red. Now again, we like to provide you with two brushes, so this way you can make sure that you have enough equipment to do the project regardless of your skill level or where you are. But today I'm going to be using some of my own brushes just to help expedite the painting during the painting process because the videos can run kind of long and I want to keep them within a certain time period. So by using these brushes, I can move a little bit faster. So basically what we're going to be doing first is we're just going to add some color for a background. I like to take some white and just kind of splash that around the canvas. Now, although I'm going to be mixing this color with a little bit of black, I still want to put the white first to help soften up or break that color down as I lay it into the to the painting. And I'm just going to kind of cover everything. <coughs> Please excuse me. So you're just going to just quickly brush this in. And again, the flat brush that we provide for you will do this job, no problem. But I'm more comfortable using this brush. And it helps me to move just a little bit faster for purposes of this video. Just want to make sure I emphasize that. <coughs> Excuse me. And no, I just might have caught a cold because I run out a lot without a jacket. <coughs> now we're going to touch a small, tiny amount of black. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for kind of a grayish value. So I'm just going to take that and kind of brush that in now. And I want that to be kind of more on the outside of the painting. So I'm literally just going to paint around everything for a moment. And then I'll show you how to darken, soften, lighten, whichever way you want to go with it. Because I want to leave a little bit of a glow towards the center here for like some kind of ambient light, ambient light. So I'm just going to take this grayish tone, kind of splash that in. Make sure I get it all around everything. See? And see, by having that white on there, it's not going to stay too dark, which is what I want. Now, I might richen it up a little bit as I go, but I want to control what it looks like first before I start settling in on a, on a darker tone value. Okay. Make sure I get all around the peel. It's important to me, especially right around up in here. A little bit. There. Take some white now just to soften these edges. There. And you see, I still get to leave my little bit of white opening that I wanted, which is right about here, which is fine. So maybe I'll take it, I'll add a little bit of white, take a little bit of this color, just to enrich some of this area over here, just a little darker right around here. 
along this edge and maybe it's a little bit over here around this bottom that works for me see that that's good let's go up here a little bit that's great go around this light take a little bit of white soften this up just a tad there that's good that's pretty good I'm going to clean off my brush, take the brush, dip it in the water, stir it a little bit. I like to call that ringing the bell. Wipe it on a paper towel. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of white because there's a light right in here. And I don't want the gray to be in there when I put my yellow because I don't want it to turn green. I want it to stay a bright yellow. So I'm just going to paint right inside here just to give that back. There. Now I'm going to clean off my brush again. Ring the bell. And before we peel off, why don't we just go ahead and take some of this color, for example. Let's take the yellow and let's paint inside the light. So you see there's an opening here. So I'm just going to take the yellow and just paint right inside that opening. Just like so. That's good. That's good. That's going to act as the light source for me. Clean off the brush a little bit. And maybe before I peel off, I'll take this little pointed brush, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, create a kind of an orange value. See that? Take that orange and maybe dance some of that right along the edges. Here, let me just pick up a little bit more red, a little yellow. I'm just going to paint that right inside the light, right along the top right inside the lines a little bit just to give the light just a little bit of a different value there that's good enough not trying to take out the yellow i'm just trying to add a little extra coloration that's fine clean off that ring the bell paper towel and now i'm going to pick up this flat brush and you see right here there's a word it says joy why don't we just take this black let's just paint that really quickly now this is just me providing you with help now of course you can write this on your own but i figure if we're going to use the peels we might as well make them work for us because the peel off is nothing more than an aid to help you make things a little bit easier so you don't have to go ahead and be all trying to be a calligrapher with letters i've already done that for you and by doing that now we have the word joy we have our light we could always add more orange later if we want to but Right now, we're going to keep moving forward, and we're going to remove our peel. Before I do so, I see a little jaggedness right over here. So why don't I take a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and just soften this up just a little bit. There you go. Just add some value. Make sure that this comes off nice. Just going to scrub this in. There you go. Now that's that's better for me. A little bit of white just to get rid of this and then just clean off the brush a little bit black put this back there that's fine that's good enough clean this off i think we're done with the big brush for now move this off to the side now we're going to use our spatula and you can grip anywhere i'm just going to go near the bottom or near the base see if i can't just get something to start pulling up for me see once i get it to start pulling up I don't need this anymore because all I want to do is peel off everything, keep it nice and clean, and get this off. Even if it rips, it's okay because I could always go back and pick up pick up the pieces. But look at this. Let me show you this real quickly. Look at that. Look at that joy. Look at that joy. See that word? No calligraphy for me. Peel off. Move this off to the side. And let's just continue lifting. And removing everything now we have our outline for our light post and of course you know what we're going to do here we're simply going to take some black and we're literally going to paint everything inside here but before i start doing that why don't we box off our joy lettering so let's take some green because the black will help us to that neaten up what we don't so let's take this first and i'm going to paint inside my o staying away from the letter itself I'm just going to paint in the inside and then once I get in the inside, I'm going to paint along the outside. 
See, I'm not trying to paint over the black. I'm just trying to paint around it. But that black is so strong, it probably won't disappear to just mute and we could always add it back again. But why should we if we just careful the first time? See, so now we have our O. So I'm going to do the same thing with all the letters. I'm just going to quickly go around the letters. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to square this off. See? There. That's the Y. Let's do the J. You can even connect it if you want because we are going to come this way. So it doesn't really matter. And all I'm doing is painting around the letters. And while I'm here, let me just soften that so there's no hard line there. See? Now, you could just take and draw a square and say, okay, this is going to be the sign. So I'm going to make this and say this is the sign. In the white area later on, I'll paint it black. And if I have to come into the green with the black, it's fine. So it'll help define that shape for me. Right now, I just want to get around these letters. <laughs> Because once I get around these letters, everything else will be a piece of cake. I know this seems a little difficult, but it's not. It really is easy. Because even if you painted this whole box green, black is such a strong color, you could just come literally right over the top of it and still regain back that shape. But I'm just trying to show you how and why we're doing what we're doing. We're just making this green box to hold our letters. We'll make the trim in black to frame our letters. And I'm just trying to show you how to do it easily. See that? Look at that. So now we have our box. Now we have our letters. This is a little longer, but watch when you come in with the black later. It'll just trim it right up. Let's clean this off. There. Now, we're going to go with the black. So I'm going to use this big brush for the moment. Then I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. But I'm just filling in all of this pole around the trim, those two lines. And I'm going to run this and stop and paint these birds and then come back and finish. But let's start here where it's nice and easy to see. And we're just going to go with the shape that's there and create a light. This is the lamp post. So you see, we start like that. Staying in the inside, walking it right along the edges. See, just creating that shape. And basically what we're going to be doing here for the next few moments is just painting this entire light post black. That's all we're going to do. We'll come back later and add some snow to it, but by then the black will have dried. So we're just going to use this brush, which you could be using that brush right there, which is fine. And just be working this around. Now I'm going to leave those because I'm going to come back in with a smaller brush. So I'm just going to work all of the, and, and that smaller brush could be this detail brush right here. It's going to come right here and just show you how to work all the larger areas. Quickly block this in. And then we'll come back and finish up all of this painting. See, I'm not, not trying to recreate anything. I'm just going with the lines that are there, the white lines that are defined for me on that peel off. That's all I'm going to be working with. A little bit of a straight line here and here. And then I'll come back later and add those edges with a smaller brush. But right now I'm just going to continue working this straight down. See? How cool is this? Light post is almost done. All I'm doing is just filling it in. And if it's a little crooked, it's okay. You can always try to straighten it out later if you want to. But I just want, again, to try to get you to, to figure, finish it up, block it all in, and then we'll work it out later. Just trying to stay straight. Trying to stay within the confines of the white space that the peel opened up for me. I'll come back in with a detail brush and catch any little details. So I don't take this brush and make it go too fat. I think that's enough for this brush. Clean this off. Wipe it on a paper towel. Let's use this pointer brush. I have one here, but we're going to use this one. I'm just going to load this up with some color. I'm going to get a little closer so I can see and just go 
wherever the detail is that needs it, I'm just going to add it. Because this brush is almost like a pen. It gives me a little bit more control, and so will you. Straighten this out. There's two little lines that go off over here, so let me just put those in. See? See how easy that is? Put this one in. Now connect it. And there. Let's do the same thing up here. I'm going to leave my hand to raise up. I'm just going to come off to the edge. Do that. Put some more paint on the brush. Come off on the edge. Do this. Go straight down. You see what I'm doing? I'm just following the contours of whatever that white opening was for me on the peel off. I'm just making sure I don't try to create anything new. Stay right within the lines. How cool is that? Look at this. We're getting there. Just gonna take my time. Sometimes you wanna flip the canvas around if you can. But again, for purposes of the video, I can't. I have to leave it in one spot so that you can see the whole painting process. If I were painting this freely, I'd be flipping this canvas around so that I could get these edges exactly the way I want to, have the control that I want to. But that's okay. It's still going to get done. It's still going to work. I'm just going to take my time and just do one area at a time. No need to rush. See? That area is done. Now I'll do the one in the middle. See that? Put my pinky as a brace. Stay in the air. I'm not pushing the brush down to make it too fat. Straighten up the line as best as I can. And just go over here and finish this part. See that? Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. And now to do this last one. Then we'll start over here. But it's all the same thing. It's all black except for those birds. Except for those birds. As a matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to paint those birds next. Let's get them. Let's get them painted. So we can have them out of the way. Then everything else will be a piece of cake. I'm going to just do this side of the light pole. There. It's good enough. You can come back and straighten these out. You can straighten this out. But we're just going to keep moving. So let's clean off the brush. Let's do these two red birds. Because it's just red, right? So let's just pick up some red. And let's look through bird number one. Bird number one is right here. Let's do his beak. And then let's do his head. Now let's work on his body. I'll show you how to put some highlight shadows on him in a second. They're really dark lights because it's going to be a dark color, but they call them highlights anyway. It's going to stay with the shape, his head. See that? There's a beak and a head. Now these are backwards, so it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see them the fronts. And then let's do the body. See? And we're going to stop right there, right at the top of the sign. Because both of their tail feathers are on the other side of the sign. Because they're moving while they're there. They're having a good time talking and planning out their lives. And their little tails are waggling and moving. And they somehow or another ended up on the other side of the sign. See, now let's just come from here and go up. Remember, the black's going to come over there, so it'll help cover that up. Now let's just, just fill this in. See? That's all you got to do. It's a little bit of paint, a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. There's one bird. Let's do the other bird. Do the same thing. Come over here. Let's find his peak. His beak. Little beak there. Little head touching over here. Little head touching over here. There, look at that. That's cool. You know what? I might leave that little gap in between. I like that. Just going to make his body go right there like that. Oh, that looks so cute. So cute. Now let's just fill this in. Same way. Just going to colorize them. 
His tail stops right at the top of the sign right there. And everything else in this picture of this particular shape is red. So we're just going to keep going. And as promised, we'll come back to him in a little while. I promise you. Let his color set up. and We'll be back. In the meantime, let's just finish him up. Here's bird number two. I don't know which one's the male, which one's the female, or in this day and age, which one's the one person, which one's the next person, or which one's one bird, which one's the next bird. Don't know. But they're so close together, they don't know. There. So now we have our red in. So now why don't we go ahead and finish, you know, off the brush, and put our black in. Now for this, we could actually start over here with this ball, because it's all black. So we could just... Paint this because everything here now is going to be black. And we have our birds to show us where to stop. So we're just going to paint around some of them. But in the meantime, let's put this ball at the end of the sign. Then let's just start doing the straightaway. Stop when it gets to the bird. Maybe draw a line right there to say, don't go past that line. That helps us. Then the sign is, is being hung here. So let's paint this in. We'll come to this part in a second. Let's just keep going this way. Now we go underneath and there's a little piece. Maybe there's a line here to stop, a line there to stop, and a line here to stop. Now we just fill that in. That's what makes this so simple. Peel off just gives you a little bit of an aid. It helps you open up spaces and you can kind of see how to piece it all together. See, just piece it all together. And this is the pole that they're sitting on, which is also holding the sign. Look at that. That part is done. How cool is that? Now we're just going to do the other part here on the sign that's holding it up. Paint this straight down. Paint this straight down. Just get it in the middle. Now this is what I meant when I was saying the border. And you see that little red? It's okay because now we could take the black and just push the tail back. So now we can just take this color, make a line right across the top, and see, now we have our sign. And then you can use your brush or flip your canvas and then just paint the top part right there. Like that. See, I'm just going to run this color straight across. Just try to make a border. Even if it goes into the green at this point, it doesn't matter because all we want is a nice straight border. See, we can come right here and just go straight down and make a border on this side. That's all we want. We just want a nice border. Look at that. And if that needs to be green, we'll leave it and come back and put that again later. But right now, we're just creating the borders. The border that goes around the sign. We're just using this thin little brush. I'm not pushing down hard on it. I'm letting it glide kind of in the air. Because it has a very nice point. And I could use that point like a pen quill. To just go ahead and fill in all of this little beautiful border. Look at that. Look at that. Block this in. Maybe come back the other way. Bam. Look at that. Oh, that's looking good. Now we just do the other one going straight down. This painting is like 90% done gonna come right here like that and I'm just gonna pull this back like this and there's my other closing border right here and that's good enough for me you could you can putz with it detail it again you could flip it around a little bit if you want to and try to straighten out the bottoms you know just by doing some stuff like this if you want and that's fine but I'm gonna say that this is good for me and like I was showing you, if you feel that this got painted over, you could always fatten up your O. See, I'm going to fatten up my O a little bit. I'm just, just going to go right into it because I see it now. So I'm going to fatten it up a little bit. There. If you find this is too light or some of your green got over it, just take some black, go right back over that, and bring it right back to life. You find this over here, do the same. See, no love lost. Everybody's happy. Joy. And as promised, I'm going to take a little tiny, 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 tiny bit of black. 
And on the edges of the bird right out here, I'm just going to put some of that dark color like this, like maybe right along here. Go here and get a little bit more. Just a little bit. Maybe put some in his head. Maybe more on his body. And then maybe him too or her too. A little bit of shadow right there like that. That just adds a little detail to the bird. That's all. That's good. That's good enough. I'm going to stop right there. So now, we have our light post, our light, our birds, and our joy. Now we need some tree branches. So let's take some black. Now these you can pull in anywhere you like. I'm going to take and put it right here in the middle. I'm just going to pull a branch that it just hangs down from a tree we don't even know or see. And I'm going to make what I like to call a Y. So I'm going to extend another piece of line. Maybe that goes over here. Doesn't that look like a Y? And maybe there's another little Y over here. And of course, I can always pull another little Y right there. There's a branch hanging from a tree we don't even know. So let's go to the side over here. And maybe there's a tree branch that kind of runs along the border or the edge over here. So I'm going to take this dark color, start from here. And maybe just pull a branch that's just kind of hanging down like that. See that? And then maybe this one has a Y that's coming from here. Let's thicken this up a little bit. And then maybe there's another piece that kind of hangs off over here. Like that with a Y. See, those are just Ys on top of a line. And then just for purposes of continuity, I'm just going to bring another tree branch that's just hanging just like that. That's fine. Now, maybe there's a tree branch that runs all the way across the bottom that just runs across the light pole. Comes out over there. Who knows? It's our world. Maybe this one comes right here. See that? And that's good enough for me. Now I have my three branches. Now let's decorate them a little bit. Why don't we take and take some red and watch this. I'm just going to dot, dot, dot. Put some dots right along the tips here. Like some berries or something's hanging out. And this is why these birds chose to come over here. Because there's little red berries that grow in the winter, that hang off this tree, that help feed Mother Nature. And then who knows, maybe there's even some that's hanging off down over here, just to put a few. And then you see how it adds some red color to the painting too? And then maybe there's some dots of berries that are over here, and there's some that's hanging right here. And they're thinking about eating those later, after they finish their little... Romantic conversation. Who knows? There. And that gives the element of, of that. But of course you know it's snowing. So it doesn't look like it yet. But it is. So let's take some snow. Some white. And maybe right along the top of the light. Some snow hit. Like that. And you see these rings? Maybe some hit this ring. Maybe some hit this ring. And maybe there's a, a nice bit of snow. You see this little line we made? Maybe there's some snow that runs right from here, all the way across here, like that. Let's pull some on the outside. I'm just pulling white. I'm just taking white, and I'm saying that there's snow in the glass, too. Maybe there's some snow that sits here, some snow that sits there. Maybe there's some snow that sits right along the bottom of this one that runs all the way across. And maybe... There's even some snow on the perch that these two lovely birds are sitting on. So partly on the perch, partly on the canvas, I'm just going to paint some white snow that's even in between them because it was there before they landed. Sitting right on the top of this ball, goes around and comes right there. See, now I'm putting snow. Maybe there's some snow that actually accumulated right on the sign. Right on the sign. Maybe, maybe it cuts in front of their tail. Like that. Look at that. Maybe it goes over here too. Maybe there's some snow that fell on the inside of the sign. Right here. Just to liven this up a little bit. Look at that. Maybe some snow fell on the limb of this branch. And now we can clearly show 
that this branch is sitting in front of this light pole by adding the snow that fell on the branch itself. See, now that helps pull that. So let's put some snow hanging from this one. It just droops right there. And maybe some snow got inside on this limb and on this limb. We don't know, we don't know, we're not snow. And then maybe there's some snow, even though this is white, I'm still gonna put it, that sits right there. Never know what the eye could pick up. Now, of course, if there's snow everywhere, why don't we add some snow to the whole painting? And to do that, you can use this brush like this, but I'm gonna actually pick up a brush like this. And I'm gonna say this brush with a little water on it, smash right into some, some white paint. I want it to be nice and juicy, but not too juicy, but juicy enough that when I take the brush and flip it, all kind of little things fall right off. And here's snow. And I'm just gonna spritz this all over my light pole, all over my birds, all over my sign, all over the gray areas. The white areas is not gonna show up that much, but some will hit those limbs. And I like a lot of snow. So I'm just gonna flip until I'm tired. And I'm gonna say this painting is actually done. Light of joy. I hope you had fun. I had fun painting it. And don't worry about this paint. It washes off with soap and water. It's an acrylic water-based paint. So it's not gonna stay forever. But you can now feel like the artist that you are. And again, I hope you had fun. I did. This painting is very, very nice, very, very easy, and very, very interesting. A light of joy. Thank you for painting with me. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like. And by subscribing, when a new video comes out, you'll be one of the first to get it. Have fun. Till next time, bye-bye.